Hello, welcome back to Solo for Math, where we make mathematics simple, clear, and enjoyable. In today's video, we are going to respond to this item here uh, as asked by many of you. We have an item here. MTN Uganda has been tracking its mobile money subscribers over the past five years. The number of active users has been growing exp exponentially. The company started with these active users, this number of active users in 2020 and has experienced a constant annual growth rate. You are a data analyst at MTN Uganda tasked with analyzing this growth to help the company plan for future infrastructure needs. In 2023, the number of active users was recorded as this, and the tasks are here. So this is an application of, it can be an application of both indices and logarithms. They are talking about a growth of the subscribers of a certain company, M chain, over five years, a period of five years. So they are saying that this, uh, the number of active users have been growing exponentially. There's what we call exponential growth. Exponential growth, then there is what we call uh, linear growth. For linear growth, there is a constant increase, maybe in the number of, uh, in this case, subscribers. Like like every year, we go on adding a certain number, constant number. Maybe if they say that the number of subscribers uh, increase by 200 every year, 200 every year, so it means the increment is by a constant number. From the initial, we add the constant number of new subscribers every year. For exponential growth, uh, here we have, for example, if we have initially 10 subscribers, exponential growth means each of these 10 after period will bring a certain number and even though the number that they have brought will also bring so the increment is not constant okay so when we, we talk of uh, exponential growth the formulas are either pt we can talk of pt equaling to p naught e to power rt where pt is the number, in this case, the number of subscribers after a given period of time. p naught is the initial number of subscribers. In this case, it may be, or it would be uh, the 850,000. The r is the rate of growth, and then t is the time taken. Uh, or the time that that elapses after a given period or we have this equals to p naught 1 plus r to power t these are two whenever we have an uh, exponential growth we either use this or we use this now when would we use this? We use this when we have continuous growth. Mm. Like growth that happens every month, every moment. Look at a case of an increase of a virus. Mm. Uh, the case of, uh, of the coronavirus that we had was increasing every moment. So we, we use this. Now for a case where we have uh, growth that happens at regular intervals it is exponential growth but the growth happens 
at regular intervals like after every year like in this case here they're telling us that uh, the company started with this active users in 2020 and has experienced a constant annual growth rate like the growth is constant okay? it is not continuous it is annual constant annual so like we are considering growth after every every year so the growth we are not considering growth happening every moment so we are going to use this formula here we're going to use this formula so what do we need to note uh, let's first look at the task task one task a saying utilizing the knowledge of logarithms determine the annual growth rate of mtn mobile money subscribers express your answer as a percentage to one decimal place so we want to find the to determine the annual grace, gr growth rate so if you're using this formula we want to find r okay we want to find r so we ask ourselves do we have pt mm -hmm. do we have p naught p naught is known that is the initial number of subscribers which was 850,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. This one, the PT will depend on the time. Uh, if, if they gave us some information after, like the number of subscribers after some period of time, then we have PT after that time. So if we read it again, we see that there is a number they gave us here. They told us that in 2023 the number of active users was recorded as this so it means we have some pt after how many years from 2020 up to 2023 how many years are there there are three years so it means the p after three years is equal to one million three hundred nine five hundred subscribers so we are going to use p3 this one here plus with a p naught and then the time will be three and this will help us to find the hour so let's substitute let's substitute so from our formula p T equals to P naught into one plus R to power T. We've uh, we said we are going to use P three, like the new number of subscribers after three years, which we know has one million three hundred nine five hundred. Then we know. Our t will be three in this case, and then our p naught we know it as eight hundred fifty thousand. So let's substitute here. So we have one million three hundred nine thousand equaling to p naught, which is eight eight hundred fifty thousand into one plus we don't know r to power t which is a three so we simplify our first divide by the eight hundred fifty thousand on both sides divide by eight hundred fifty so this reduces this and uh, when we simplify end up with uh, on reducing this we have 1 plus r to power 3 equaling to this fraction reduced it is 2619 over 1700 so 
the best way to make our subject because it's what we want to get we get the cube root on both sides get the cube root on both sides so on the left hand side we remain with 1 plus r equals 2 the cube root is uh, approximately 1.1 155 since uh, the answer error was required as was required as a percentage to one decimal place I've ignored I've uh, I've already I've already reduced this rounded off so finding error will be this 1.155 minus 1 which is equal to 0.155 so this is our r but the question required us to find r as a percentage so we just multiply this by 100 percent and this gives us 15 point five percent this is our rate of growth as required in the question part A. Part B, predict the number of active subscribers MT in Uganda will have in 2025. So in this part B, they want us to find the number of active users. So it's like they want us to find PT. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 2025 okay so we are going to use the same formula our PT is equal to the initial number of subscribers into 1 plus R to power T so what time will have X erupts er, erupted after or oh, in by 2025 mm -hmm. Remember the initial year was 2020. This is like the base year. We are going all the way up to 2025. How many years will have elapsed? We have five years here. So it means our T is going to be five. We know our P naught as 850,000. And we've gotten our R as 15.5 percent so we substitute let's substitute we want p after five years equals to 850,000 into one plus r if i convert it to this mode is 0 0.155 to power five on simplifying this we end up with uh, if you place in your calculator you end up with one seven four seven one four four point five eight six and on rounding off we end up with one million seven hundred forty seven thousand one hundred forty five so it means by 2025 we expect the number of subscribers to be one million seven hundred forty seven one hundred forty seven hundred forty seven thousand one hundred forty five subscribers and uh, lastly this was part b lastly part c how many years would it take for the number of subscribers to reach five million so we want to anticipate how many years it means we want to find t we want to find t when pt will be equal to five million 
we are still playing around the same formula. Okay. So we have our p t equals to p naught into one plus r to power t. So we have our p t as five million equals two. We have our initial number of subscribers as eight five. Zero, zero, zero into one plus zero point one five five power t. All right, on simplifying by divide dividing by eight hundred fifty thousand on both sides, eight hundred fifty thousand, we end up with. 100 over 17. I'm keeping fractions to reduce on the errors in the final answer. So this one reduced this to 1. Uh, so we remain with this as 1 point. Sorry. This is 1.155 1 to power t. So if you want to find t, we can introduce logarithms here on both sides. I will introduce log base 10, log to the base 10, which is log 100 over 17 equals to log over 1.155 to power t. So this t can come down considering the laws of logarithms this power can come down here so we have log of 100 over 17 equaling to t log of 1.155 so if we divide through by log 1.155 on both sides divide by log 1.155 we end up with t as uh, on simplifying this uh, you place in your calculator this to give us t as 12.297 I've rounded off and this is approximately 12.3 uh, years so it means we expect the number of subscribers to be 5 million after 12 years from 2020. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe. Comment, like and share.